from being part of um, one of my programs. And, and that's what I want, that you can be as successful as you possibly can. And you have loved that experience. You love the process of the hard work and everything that you have to do to be successful the right way. And that's what I've been preaching in my sport for forever, to do it the right way. And you can, you can get results the right way. But for for that moment in time, and I still remember that moment of just walking past the gym and saying, wow, they have gymnastics, this is awesome. And walking in that gym and just turned my life around. And now here I am, a Hall of Fame coach, a coach of Olympic champion and um, uh, you know NCAA champion and, and all the gamut uh, of my sport. Just by walking past the gym that day changed my life, that moment in time. And I fell in love watching this show because I mean, there were so many episodes. The writing was amazing, the story. And it was like a, a game, too, because you're trying to figure out who the murderer. The movie I was watching when my wife called and said she was pregnant again, and it lucked out because the baby hit her blood type. So he was born perfectly healthy, you know, ESP psychic. My mother saw the future on her deathbed, and uh, it was amazing. Um, at the age of four, you know, you go through life, and you got family, you got all these people you support, you've done all this stuff. And I go to prison at, at, at the age of 40. I get sentenced on my, on my birthday, you know. And the only thing you could think of is how do I become a better me? And I think the thought of me becoming a better me, it was to take care of self. You know, I can't I can't take care of everybody else. I got to quit trying. Uh, I can't be there for everybody else. Like I have to focus on me. When you when it's only up to you. You can't call me. You can't come see me. We can't hang. Like I'm sitting in this prison wall, and you have to go on with life. I think all of us need. You know, and and I did this for six months. And it was the best six months that I've had in a long time. And the reason why is because you have so many, you have so many people in prison that shouldn't be there, but no one really cares if you did it or not. And you have so many God fearing men that you say, why aren't they in society? How do we get these people back into society? And how did they do 15 years and 20 years? for these simple charges, a drug case, non-violent, you know, but you got people that's in for robbing millions or getting away with all of this stuff and they're in- Kurt Russell plays McCready, and also, also called Mac. And um, um, he's the only, he is the only one that flies the helicopter there. And Charles is, <sighs> and it goes dark. I know it's McCready. He's the thing. That's it. In order to have an unbiased reporting, you've got to report the facts. I don't care who the anchor person is, who the reporter is. I don't care who it is. If they're reporting from, from just their viewpoint, uh, we're not getting an unbiased. Uh, we're not getting the unbiased news.